This is a video summary of our paper, Adversarial Examples Aren't Bugs, They're Features, to appear at NeurIPS 2019. The focus of our paper is on adversarial perturbations. Specifically, we'd like to make progress towards answering, why do these perturbations even exist? One way that adversarial examples could arise is if our classifiers are unreasonably sensitive to useless patterns in the input. Pictorially, suppose we think of our inputs as a collection of features. Here we have some useful features that the classifier is supposed to learn to do well in the classification task. We also have some useless features that, through some error in learning, such as overfitting or sensitivity to label noise, the classifier puts an unreasonably large weight on. An adversary can change the decision of the classifier on any given input by just changing these sensitive features that don't make any sense to humans. So with this model in mind, let's try an experiment. We'll start with the training set of a standard image classification task. We'll then take a pre-trained classifier for this data set and make an adversarial example for every training image. After we make these adversarial examples, we'll label every image with its adversarial class. Note that at this point, the resulting data set consists entirely of adversarial examples and thus looks completely mislabeled to a human. Finally, we'll train a classifier on this relabeled data set and test on the original test set. Surprisingly, we get non-trivial accuracy on the unmodified test set. This result indicates a flaw in our conceptual model of adversarial examples. Under that model, crafting adversarial examples doesn't really change anything meaningful about the input, and so learning anything about the true class boundary from adversarial examples would be impossible. Our experiment prompts us to think about adversarial examples in a different way, resulting in what we'll call the robust features model. The new training set we made in our experiment clearly had to have carried some information about how to distinguish dogs from cats. On the other hand, this information isn't something that humans can perceive, since to us the data set just looked mislabeled. This leads us to predict the existence of non-robust features. These are features that are actually indicative of the true label, but can be easily manipulated by an adversary. This conceptual model is actually pretty predictive. Using a pre-trained robust model, we tried removing non-robust features from standard data sets and managed to construct training sets where standard non-robust training yields robust classifiers for the original test sets. In general, our findings suggest that adversarial examples can arise from non-robust features in the data that actually help generalization but hurt robustness. Note that because these features help generalization, simply learning better models may not be sufficient for fixing the problem of adversarial examples. Thanks for watching our paper summary. You can find links here and in the description for our paper, blog post, and the robustness library, our open source framework for modularly training and manipulating standard and robust classifiers. You can also find a link to the summary video for our other NERPS 2019 paper, showing the applications of robust classifiers to image synthesis tasks.